Hi, this is Dietmar Pohl, CEO and designer of the Pohl Force Knife Company. Today, I want to introduce to you the new, brand new Quebec 2 Special Forces Edition. But uh, before I go into detail, what makes that knife a Special Edition, a Special Forces Edition, let me give you some basics about uh, the idea of uh, having a Special Forces Knife and some basic information about the Quebec 2 just in case you are not familiar with the knife. So first of all, um, I'm working now 30 plus years in the knife industry and uh, probably also the same time working along with special forces, uh, mostly German, European special forces, but also international special forces, uh, either police or military. And uh, probably some of you know also the books that I did on uh, military knives, special forces, special forces knives. And so um, that's one of the reasons why we came up with the idea to make a kind of tribute knife to the men and women who are qualified for special operations and risk their life and health uh, to help people. And uh, so this is basically the idea of having this limited edition special forces knife. But yeah, let me go into detail about the Quebec 2. The Quebec 2 um, is based on the Quebec 1, which we introduced back in 2014. And um, the, uh, the idea for this knife, for this design, uh, goes back into the 60s, 1960s uh, of the last century. Um, the, the, the rough idea, the, the basic idea of the design uh, was created during the Vietnam War and uh, mostly used by special operations. And uh, that's the reason why I was so in love with the knife for decades now. And uh, luckily the uh, original creator and uh, manufacturer of the knife gave me in 2013 the permission to base my design, my own pull force, my own Dietmar pull design on, on this, on this uh, rough uh, sketch outline that they gave to me and to, which I have the permission to use. So uh, that's basically about the design uh, of the knife. But let me go into details and what we have changed from uh, Quebec 1 to Quebec 2. So first of all, we changed the steel. The first one was Leitner steel. And now the uh, current version it has D2 steel, carbon steel, which I like a lot because of the cutting performance. And uh, honestly, we never had problems with D2 steel. And uh, it's a tough steel. It's, it's, it's really a tool steel. And uh, well, you have a look a little bit on uh, to clean it once in a while, oil it and everything to make sure that you will have always uh, fun with the knife and uh, no problems with corrosion or something. But um, again, we, we never had any any issues with with, with D2 steel. And uh, yeah, the uh, thickness is six millimeters. And um, what makes it also very different to the first version of the Quebec is also that we added this hollow handle. And as you can see here, inside the handle, you have a room. Not only we have a cutout in the tank, but we have also some milled out cavities here in the handle. And so you can put any kind of survival equipment inside a compass, needles, matches, some medicine, whatever you want and whatever fits inside. And it's, it's pretty much, it's, it's not that small. And uh, it's uh, secured by these two bolts here that we have here. And um, you can open the handle very easily because here back on the lanyard, there's that little tool and you can easily unscrew it. And then you have access to uh, the inside of, of the handle. And the knife comes with, uh, comes with a kydex sheath. And uh, this is uh, 
This is the FDE version of, of, of the Kydex. And uh, we use 2.5 millimeter thick Kydex, which is pretty, pretty heavy. And it's not very often in the, in the knife industry, uh, in the serial production knife industry, that, uh, that they are using 2.5 millimeter. So it's a really solid and tough Kydex sheath. And it's made by our partner in Spain. And uh, it's uh, exactly made to our specifications. And uh, as you can see here, you have also a nice leg strap coming along with, with the sheath and with that little flexible part here. So if you have it around your leg and uh, you're running, you're working, whatever, it will stretch a little. So uh, that's, that's very practical. And uh, so that's, that's uh, basically about the uh, Quebec 2. Oh yeah, and, and of course the handle material. The handle material is G10 and we use on uh, both versions. We have two versions, uh, the same black G10 and uh, also rock solid material. Um, it's, it's fantastic and it became a standard in the knife industry. So, but uh, let's go a little bit more into details about the uh, Special Forces Edition. So, we decided to have uh, two versions with the limited uh, production run of just 150 pieces per version. And um, we have the so-called field version and we have the urban version. So let's start with the field version. The field version is, uh, is an all black knife with the, uh, with the FDE color, it stands for flat dark earth, it's a brown tone, uh, with a lanyard, as you can see here, and which we haven't used before in combination with the all black knife. And uh, along with the FDE color and black color, Kydex sheath. So that's a pretty nice match. And uh, as you can see here, I made an example on uh, some tactical equipment, which is uh, standard nowadays to uh, uh, all kind of uh, special forces or, or, or regular infantry. Um, FDE or Coyote Brown became really standard into the field of military camouflage. And uh, yeah, I, I love it a lot because uh, it, it it works perfectly for for most uh, for most field areas, wooden desert, uh, also some urban areas. It works almost in every color, and it's a nice nice color. I like it a lot. And uh, here's some typical equipment, as I said, which is nowadays used in uh, in military use and. Uh, so you see here, that's the combination of, uh, of the FDE color Kydex sheath, the lanyard and the all black knife. So very, very nice match. And the other one is what we call the urban version. So let me show you also the urban version. As you can see here with the, the black Kydex sheath, which matches perfectly also with the, the black body armor or, or black uh, overalls, uh, uniforms, whatever. And uh, it comes with, with a very nice and dull dark stone washed finished blade and with black handle. And uh, it's also perfectly for the urban area to use with uh, police and special forces teams. And um, as I said, each version, the field version and the urban version, are limited to only 150 pieces. And uh, actually, we have also a matching number set uh, from the serial numbers 001 to 25. And uh, some of them are already sold. So uh, you should decide quick to, to order them on our website. And um, yeah, that's that's basically about the uh, about the special forces edition. And what else comes with the knife? Not only the knife, the Kydex sheath, but as many of you already know, we are a great fan of uh, moral patches, and so we have that special one created 
for uh, the Special Forces Edition and it comes only, only with the knives. So we will not sell them separately, you cannot order them, so they only come along with the knife. And um, as you can see here, it says of course Special Forces in the banner and it has also that uh, that uh, Quebec knife in the center, in the upward position. And that's very common among, among uh, Special Forces units. The most of them, they're using daggers, combat knives or swords. And that's, that's the kind of symbol. That's the kind of symbol of special operation. And the three flashes here in the background, it's also very typical for special operations. Uh, it stands for operation, air operation, land operation or sea operation. So each of the flashes uh, represent uh, the air, land or sea. And uh, it's a very, very nice patch. It comes with a rail crow on the background. And so you can attach it to all kind of Velcro soft part that's on, on, on your equipment, on your, on your backpack, on, on, your, on your vest, wherever. And uh, if there shouldn't be any of the uh, Velcro mother part or uh, counterpart, so the, the patch comes also with that back part here, the soft part, and you can simply suit to your equipment or uh, to your clothing wherever you want. And uh, then, of course, the knife, like all our knives, uh, comes with a special certificate. And uh, the certificate is uh, very unique in this case because it shows not only the serial number uh, that the knife has from uh, 001 to 150, but at the same time, on, on the back of the handle, which what is standard uh, to us, is also the quality control number. So, um, just to explain why there are two numbers on it. And uh, yeah, and what else is uh, what comes along with, with the knife is that super nice picture card that we have here. And as I told you, uh, that knife goes back into the time during the Vietnam War with the uh, US Special Forces. And so uh, the photographer, the, the famous Austrian military photographer, Tom Weber from Bill Pictures, he created this kind of picture for us that shows an authentic, really in every aspect, every detail, authentic uh, Vietnam soldier, special operations, cross-border operations, SLG recon, and um, he has, he has the uh, Special Forces edition in his hand. And so that's the reason why we decided to use uh, a vintage or an original soldier from that time period for this uh, amazing card here. And uh, it's, it's not only a picture card, but if you want to, <laughs> you can also mail it. It's at the same time a postcard. So, um, that's about the uh, Special Forces Edition and it is in stock right now. You can order them immediately. And as I said, 150 pieces each, that's not a lot. To be serious, that's not a lot. And so you better order them as soon as possible if you want to, to get one of these knives. And um, yeah, let me, let me introduce to you also another a uh, super nice gadget or equipment that we have, uh, which we announced already last year uh, when we introduced the Quebec 2. That's our fire starter. And uh, this is an accessory that you can buy as an option. And uh, it's also in our online store. And uh, it's, it's a Kydex adapter that comes with uh, two sets of screws in different lengths. And um, with, uh, with the fire starter that's uh, made in Austria, by the way, and including that little uh, piece, a steel piece to uh, help to start the fire starter. And it works pretty nice. Uh, let, me, let me quickly show you. It, uh, it's very, very nice. As you can see here. Wow, that's, that's great. That's great. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's an option. You can buy that. You can attach that to your Kydex sheath 
And so um, you have one more uh, survival equipment with you, um, which I think it's, uh, it's uh, the most important part to make a fire, to, to, to keep you warm, uh, to prepare your food and everything. Without fire surviving, um, it's difficult. But now you have the option to attach that to your knife and uh, it can be also attached to other kydex trees and uh, the uh, the holes have a have a standard size and and uh, standard dimension so you can you can attach it also to other kydex trees that you probably already have and uh, yeah that's about the uh, brand new brand new Quebec 2 special forces edition and uh, yeah i thank you very much for your attention and uh, yeah check out the website uh, go onto the pictures and have a closer look to uh, these uh, unique knife collection. Okay, thank you guys. Take care.